What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys, or showing you guys, or maybe you guys already know this, who knows, an easier way to defeat Bogoth. Bogoth can be a pain in the ass, especially on Nightfall and the Weekly. But with this method I'm going to show you guys, hopefully, it'll make your Bogoth fights a lot more easier. I'm not sure if this is going to be patched, or if it can even be patched, I don't know. So the first really hard part that comes up is we're going to have to be fighting three waves of enemies before this door opens. Since this strike is an arc burn, that means arc weapons do a lot more damage, so patience and time. So any arc damage weapons will be stronger in the nightfall. It's just according what the burn is on. Like if it's solar burn, well then the solar damage are going to be stronger. But right now it's the arc burn, so I'm using patience and time. And this part right here, we're going to be having to fight three waves of enemies, and it, and it gets tough. And the best place that I say to set up at is back here. Well, that's just my opinion, but it seems to work out quite well if I set up back here because it's kind of, it makes it so the enemies are more narrow, so they're an easier target, and they're not like cluttered around you and stuff. So they're like more of an open target, and not to mention there's plenty of cover back here as well. The third wave is actually the hardest wave in my opinion and because there's a ton of wizards that come after you. So I normally go way back here in the back and when I am back here the wizards come after me and they're easy targets because I have plenty of room back here to hide and they're just shooting me from back there so I can dodge them pretty easy and if I don't dodge them well, well if you're with the squad it's easy to get picked up back here as well. But if your whole squad dies and you guys have to restart, there will be enemies back here. So you're going to have to be having to take out those enemies again in the beginning section. Or if you just skipped right past these enemies, well, they're still going to be here. So you're going to have to take them out just to make this setup work nicely. But yeah, guys, that's about the struggle to get the Fogol. The rest of it, it's quite simple. So once you've gotten past those three waves and progressed further into the level, you'll finally get the Fogol. This is when it gets pretty tough, but... With this strategy, it should be easy. All you're going to have to do is kill all the enemies on the left-hand side. When you come out of this door, just focus on all the enemies on the left-hand side, including the knights in the middle as well. And they do come up toward you, so you can wait for them. But you will need to take out those knights one way or another, because those are a big pain in the butt as well. One thing to remember, do not focus on the enemies on the right side. I don't know why... But if you just focus on the enemies on the left side, for some reason, they do not spawn again. But if you focus on both of them, they do spawn. I think it might be because a certain amount of enemies have to be in the room at once. And if there isn't that certain amount, well then, it causes them to spawn again. I could be wrong about that. I don't know why they don't spawn. But for some reason, if you just take out the left-hand side, you're, you're clear over here. It's safe. The only problem that you have, there is some enemies that come from one hive dropship, but... It's not hard to take out. It's like a knight and some thrall. And maybe a purple teletubby. It could be yellow. Either way, it makes the fight a lot more simpler. And this is not tough. These enemies are not tough compared to what it could be. It's not like, oh, where do I go? Where do I go all the time? Because normally there are enemies everywhere spawning on here. And Fogoth will sit here right at this wall. Normally he gets stuck here. But for some reason he's going back and forth on this wall. But nonetheless, he's still easy to kill. But normally he would get stuck at the far left end of the wall if you're behind these rocks over here. This is where you have to go, by the way. You have to go to these rocks once you kill all the enemies on the left-hand side. And, you know, get Fogolf off the chains. Don't worry about getting Fogolf off the chains at first. Make sure you're just focusing on the actual enemies, the small enemies first. But yeah, when Fogolf gets off the chains, he'll start coming over toward you. And normally he gets stuck at this wall. He doesn't really get stuck as in, like, he's stuck there, but... He just stays there and just tries to attack us, but he cannot, or just attack you. It's cool. If you're doing a solo, just attack you, but you get it. Bogoth is unable to hurt us, and if he does hurt us, it's not really that much damage, because you got these rocks as well to hide behind. But yeah, guys, that's about wrapping up this Fogoth guide, but oh yeah, check out what I got for the rewards from the Nightfall. It's actually one of my very first exotics that I've ever found, and it's the Arachnid Head for the Hunter. It allows me to zoom in with the golden gun. It's it's overall, it's a badass helmet. Couldn't believe I got it because it's one of the very first exotics that I found. I normally don't have much luck with finding exotics. I normally get all my exotics from Xur, unfortunately. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. If this video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It helps the video out a lot. But I'm out of here, though. 
Thanks to everyone for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the last part on the raid, the final fight. A lot of people have a lot of problems with Crota, and in my honest opinion, if you do this strategy, Crota is simple. But that's just my honest opinion. Sometimes strategies don't work for others, and sometimes certain parts can be a pain in the ass.